bonus material. We got it for you. Today I'm here with Julie and Rue, and we are going to show you how to blanch and shock vegetables. The first thing you need to know is why are we doing this? Johnny, if you can zoom in on this. If you look at these vegetables right here, they have not been cooked. They are raw. These asparagus have been peeled. Um, also, Johnny, zoom in on this. This is the stems of broccoli, and guess what? You can use those too. So here's what we're gonna do. It's very, very simple. You need a boiling pot of water. Okay, lift the lid. With, there we go. Now, let's go asparagus first, okay? Let's take like half. You can just, just be careful when you put it in the water. As you can notice, we did not break off the stem of these asparagus. They're whole, and uh, Rue peeled them, okay? Uh, so she's gonna put them in the water. It has to be boiling. There we go. So this will take about a minute. And what we're doing with this, and we'll show you this too, is this not only makes it a vibrant green color, but it also par cooks it. So when we go to saute it, it happens really fast and it's easy to pick up uh, once you're serving a meal. All right, so this has been about a minute. Um, Rue's gonna put this in ice water, okay? And that stops the cooking processes, process. And it also locks all the vitamins and flavor in there. Up next, we're gonna do some broccoli. Okay, Johnny, if you zoom in over here, these are the stems that they cut up that most people discard. We let those boil for about two minutes. And then Julie's gonna take these florets and put them in the boiling water right here. And this is the blanching part. This is the blanching part. And then putting it in the ice water is the shocking part. So depending on what you're doing, if you're making a vegetable tray, you'd only do this for a second. If you were making some type of broccoli soup, you would probably cook it for longer. But really, at the end of the day, I would never go over a minute on this because then you're going to start losing the vitamins and it'll, it won't be as colorful. So Julie, you can go ahead and pull that out the best you can. Everything? Well, you can do it in more than one shot if you have to. That's it. Stick it right over there. Now the cooking process has stopped. Okay. So now, that's it, blanch and shock. Um, the, the only thing well, I'll show you here, we're gonna show you how to put together a dish really, really fast and how this works and how blanching and shocking comes in and helps you speed up everything. So, Julian Rue finished blanching and shocking, shocking these and as you can see, this is a raw one and this is one that's been blanched and shocked. You can really see the color difference. Look at the, the broccoli over here. It, there's a big difference. Um, also, it's a good, it's just a great way to plan ahead. Um, the only thing is with this broccoli, if you cover it up for more than a day, it's kind of like cabbage and it can smell when it releases some of its gases. So let's cook this up. As you can see, um, we peeled the entire asparagus. We broke nothing off. We even saved these ends. We had to cut it a little bit because this wouldn't fit in the pan. But don't waste it, you might as well eat it. So we got some oil going. It's about a medium high heat. Down here, we're gonna add some garlic, but look how, these are pretty thick pieces. But it's funny because the bigger the pieces, the less, the, uh, the finer the cut of the garlic, the stronger the flavor will be. So we really just wanna try to flavor this oil a little bit. So we're gonna let that go for a second. We're just gonna go asparagus today. And we had some extra red pepper, so we're gonna put this in here. No raw garlic. So now we're going to season this with a little bit of salt. Excuse me, the salt is here. Not too much. A little bit of salt. Once it starts to smell toasty, that's when you, you know it's almost good to go. So you might be saying, why aren't you adding the asparagus now? Because they're already blanched and chopped. They're already cooked, so it saves you a lot of time. And I think also, when you blanch and shock, especially asparagus, people like to grill them. If you give them a quick blanch and a quick shock, it makes for a much better, not only taste-wise, but presentation-wise of a grilled asparagus. So this is almost done here. We're gonna add the asparagus. Now if I said, 
I'm not gonna lie to you, it'd be nice if we put some butter in here, but we're not gonna do that. GoGaryCounty.com. And then we're just gonna add a little bit more salt, just a tiny bit. Add some pepper. And then we're gonna hit this. with some chicken stock. This is optional. You could be done at this point. Well, let me do this first. Let's hit it with a little. We have some citrus here. So hit it with a little bit of orange. If you have lemon, that'll work as well. Add a little bit of acid. And then, a little bit of chicken stock. And that's it. So we're going to take this to the plate.